Hello, hello, hello. I'm starting a new vlog today. It is Saturday the 4th, um, and I am about to go get my hair cut. Um, I had booked an appointment before everything happened, and so I was one of the people that got to get into the salon more, I mean, quicker. Um, with that being said, I would not go and get a haircut if I didn't think it was a responsible thing to do. As far as I know, we only have one case on the entire island right now, which is just under a million people. So um, for the most part, I'm still gonna wear my mask the whole time, but for the most part, I'm feeling relatively comfortable with doing this and not feeling like I'm putting anyone else at risk. So I'm going to get my hair cut and toned because it's super, oh, you won't be able to see. It's gotten really um, blonde from my dye hair dye before because I've been out in the sun a lot. Uh, and so I'm just getting it toned and getting a little bit of a trim. And then Sarah's moving in, finally. I'm so excited. She's moving in today. Um, so she's just waiting for her brother to get off work so that we can use his truck to move her bed and everything. So I kind of moved my stuff around in my room too. So like my bed is on this side now. It used to be on this wall um i don't know i just felt like it was it just flowed a little bit better this way and i'm eventually gonna get rid of that thing that my tv is on so um that thing down there because i just it just takes up too much space but i'll show you guys with this i don't know why I'm, i can hold it the other way <laughs> so this is like this area now so the piano the mirror Hopefully this piano I'll be able to move somewhere else eventually. Um, obviously the table's still here. Move this plant. This I'm getting rid of actually. It has unfortunately gotten quite a few little millipedes in it and they're just, I can't handle it. And they're also just like, I don't know, I just can't take care of palms apparently. <laughs> but here is Sarah's room, completely empty. Well, besides the guitar. Sorry, it's so echoey in here. Um, Looks like it's dirty over there, but I promise it's not. I like cleaned all the floors for her, cleaned everything, um, and the closet's like basically empty too. Um, so she has like all of that, and then that's my stuff that I just don't have room for anywhere else, so I have to have it there. But she has like all of up here and here for her stuff. Um, and then I guess, I don't know if I showed you guys what this closet looks like after we put the bar in it. So it's very full, but we put a bar in this closet so that I could have this as my closet. Um, and all my shoes and stuff are over there. A lot of like my purses and just more stuff. My ski boots, my skis, everything. Like both of my pairs of skis are in here. Like it's got a lot of stuff in here. So um, yeah, but I'm really excited to finally move in looks really pretty in there right now um and yeah cleared off a shelf for her in the bathroom um but yeah that's kind of like the 411 of what's happening today um this morning just ran some errands had to like clear some stuff out from that room they finally started taking donations at vv boutique so all the stuff that I couldn't take like to a shelter or wasn't in good qual like in good enough quality that I would want to take to a shelter, we took to the Valley Village, like an office chair, that sort of thing. And now I'm just about to leave for my hair appointment and yeah. Today is Independence Day or whatever. Um, I'm gonna leave some links and resources down below to um, a the Black Hills Bail Fund, which um, is covering bail bonds for protesters um, and indigenous people that were arrested at the protest at Mount Rushmore. Fuck Mount Rushmore. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that one, but um, yeah, they. So if you want to donate to that, I myself has personally donated again. I like to re reiterate this, is that I like to share foundations or anything that I personally am donating to as well. Um, but yeah, 
that's the 411 right now. I'll show you guys a vlog after I get my hair done and the process of Sarah moving in. If she wants to be on the vlog, I have to ask her if she wants to. But yeah, that's what's happening today. It's also really beautiful. Also, if you've been following my vlog for more than a year, you probably know I used to live with um, two boys, Hunter and Carson. And Hunter is in town right now because um, he got a job here. Um, well, kind of here, I'm not going to go into the details of it, but he is in town right now, so I think we're going to hang out with him again tonight. He's been here for a whole week, which has been really, really nice. Um, if you guys didn't know, like, he's my, he was my roommate for two years and we became really good friends. We were complete strangers before he moved into my house, so it can happen. You can become really good friends and find really good people off of, like, Facebook <laughs> to become friends. I mean, to become roommates with and then become friends with, so... Probably gonna hang out with him tonight after Sarah gets her stuff settled. I don't think she's staying here tonight. I think she's gonna go back to her um, partner's house tonight and then sleep here tomorrow. So we just want to move in as much stuff as we can. But yeah. I think that's all I have to say. This intro clip is really long. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hello. I just got back from my hair appointment. Here is said hair. Um, she kind of did some waves, which I don't typically do with my hair, but it's cute. We're feeling it. Um, I get some questions sometimes. I'm sorry about that, go. About what I get done to my hair. And I usually get it toned. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is a little bit darker. Um, because if you don't know, I used to have highlighted hair, like super blonde highlights. And so I just get it toned. Um, like how I got back to brown basically is I just got a gloss and then now I just tone it every like three months. Um, and this is like essentially my natural hair color. And then she just trimmed a bit. I'm trying to grow my hair down. I want my hair to be like here. So we're getting there. Um, but yeah, if you live in Victoria and you're looking for a hairstylist, um, shoot me an email or a DM or whatever and I'll let you guys know who I go to because I really love her. She's amazing. Um, and yeah, everything was like super sanitary. There was like one other person in there at a time. It was really great. Um, the salon I go to is definitely following protocol. Um, it is now 3.40. I'm going to make some lunch because I haven't really eaten today. All I have is a bagel. I'm just going to make some beans and rice and veg. Classic Sarah. Um, and wait for other Sarah to arrive with some of her stuff so I can help her out. And yeah, that's what's happening. Um, definitely in a better spirit today. I've been journaling every day. I'm going to film a video about it, but I've committed myself to journaling every single day this month, mainly because I just am like going to be 25 and I was like, I would love to like just document this time in my life. So I've been journaling every day and it definitely makes me feel a lot better. Um, so yeah, feeling pretty okay today getting your hair help getting your hair done helps with that too not that that's a necessity but it's a treat it's a luxury it's a privilege so I'm very grateful to be living where I am and to have Dr. Bonnie Henry who has led us through this um pandemic like a serious champion I don't know if you guys read the New York Times um but they published an article about her because she has done a remarkable job of getting BC uh, through this, um, especially where I live with, you know, going six weeks at a time without cases. Um, so yeah, she's like one of the few people, she's literally been working every single day since the pandemic started without a single day off. Crazy, crazy. Um, but yeah. Hello everybody. All right, it's been, oof, this lighting is really intense. There we go. Um, it's been a couple days since I vlogged because the last couple of days have been pretty hectic. Sarah moved in, very exciting. She's doing her schoolwork right now. Um, and yeah, it's just been busy getting that organized, getting some extra stuff that we needed, running errands, you know, the usual stuff. Um, but now it is Monday, it's July 6th, I think. And um, it's like one o'clock, I think. Yeah, I just filmed a video, which is probably up before this one. It's just an empties video um, because 
I wanted to get some extra content of you guys. And now I'm going to make some lunch. I think I'm going to make some hummus. Maybe some veggies. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to have for lunch. I feel like I'm wearing too much blush. But uh, yeah, I have nothing exciting to report. I went on a run this morning. Um, just been like doing emails, finances, that sort of thing. And yeah, I don't think anything exciting is going to come up today. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on keeping on the vlog. Hello. I'm so tired. Um, hi guys. So it's later in the day now. Um, it's 6.36. I just had dinner. I made a burrito bowl. Super easy. Base of quinoa and beans. Uh, sauteed some red pepper with some cumin and chili powder. I had some corn and guacamole and um just topped it with some hot sauce super easy dinner really tasty i'm now just watching some youtube videos and um yeah what did i do today i just did some work today filmed edited have that ready to go i'm gonna post it tomorrow morning so you guys will have already seen that video go check it out um and then i went on a nice long walk talked to my mom on the phone and then i sat in parliament I'm just on the grass there um and i was gonna read my book but instead i started the code switch podcast which started in 2016 so i started it from the very beginning and i've listened to about four episodes now um but it just talks about race and um, racial identity and um but they call it remixed so they talk about a bunch of stuff but the first episode is can we talk about or why can't we talk about whiteness and um it was really informative and uh, I think a good place to start and um, really enjoying the hosts and how the podcast is structured and all that stuff so um, yeah I listened to that while I was making dinner too and um, yeah Sarah's not home yet I think she's out on a bike ride and um, I don't know what else to say I don't know I'm going to keep this vlog going I'm going to make this a little bit longer because I feel like I haven't really vlogged that much recently and I want to make sure that I got a like, good vlog for you guys that's out because um, I know you guys like longer ones even though I don't think anything's very exciting these days. <laughs> There's so my teeth. Um, but yeah, I'll probably sign off for tonight. Tomorrow I have another day off. I think I'm just going to do some work. And hopefully it's sunny again. The weather hasn't been too great here. Um... Haven't had much of a summer yet, unfortunately, but that's all good. I also might get my passport photo taken tomorrow because even though I, I have obviously can't go anywhere right now and I hope they keep the border closed for longer um, because I don't know what's happening in America, but clearly some people are not following the rules or those rules were not properly put in place. Um, but there's been like Americans that like, come into, you know, into the island claiming to be going to Alaska. And let me just tell you, it's so disrespectful. We have worked very hard in our communities to make it so that we have no cases here. So please, 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 if you know somebody who wants to travel here, tell them to rethink it because it's just, it's really disrespectful and it's not okay unless it is absolutely essential. Um, I would never travel to somewhere, especially an island, I feel like we're a little bit more vulnerable um, resource-wise sometimes. Um, anyways, uh, my passport expired a while ago, but I didn't, never, I didn't even think to get it done because of, obviously because of COVID, but I obviously eventually have to do it, so I might do that tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. If you live in the States, please don't come here. Um, not that I don't like love you as a person. I just don't want coronavirus to spike again here because um, we're all very conscious and we wear our masks everywhere and we are still not doing anything to spread it. And I hope that it stays that way. Um, but yeah, that's the 411.
I'll see you guys tomorrow. time I vlogged is it is now Wednesday I just got home from work and I just had like a late lunch I gotta work at like three so usually I have lunch once I get home I'm having a glass of wine my room looks really messy I should really clean it up um but yeah I don't know what else I'm doing today I was gonna go to the beach but it's actually not that warm out today so I think I might just clean my room and organize some stuff I don't know. I don't really have any crazy plans for the rest of this evening, so we'll see. But I'm going to keep vlogging because you guys wanted a really long vlog. So I'm just going to keep vlogging and um, we'll see where she takes us. <laughs> Hello, good morning from my bathroom. Apologize if it's a bit loud. Sarah's just blow drying her hair. And I am, the window's open. I can't find my deodorant. Oh well. Um, I'm just popping in here because I haven't in like a day. Um, I probably will film like a full makeup for work type dealy um, soon. Just doing like this Vesca radiant skin stuff. Um, but yeah, it's Friday. Um, I'm going to work. Also, can you please tell me how to? Not that I think that I have like I'm self conscious about my arms. Like, why is it so hard to lose weight in your arms? Anybody? Anybody? Um. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday. I'm going to work. I went on a little run this morning. I'm doing some coffee. The weather is like kind of mad, so don't mind going to work. And uh, yeah. Nothing really else to report. I'll catch you guys after work. Hopefully, I remember to vlog, but I just wanted to pop in and say, what's up? Hope y'all doing well. That's it. Hi, so I'm finishing the edit on this vlog and I decided I'm gonna end the vlog here because I want to do a new vlog starting next week, which is tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys about the um, organization that I wanted to bring to light. I've mentioned them before, but I wanna mention them again because they could always use more donations, and that is Raven Trust. It's Canada's only NGO working with indigenous nations. It's based um, on Lekwungen territory, which is Victoria, here where I live. So if you're living in Canada and you're looking for some or a indigenous organization to support, um, they provide funds for 
um, a variety of projects um, at the moment, mainly working with um, land rights for pipelines. Um, you can get more information on their website. I will leave everything linked down below. I personally have a donation, a monthly donation set up with them. So I donate $10 every single month. It just comes off my credit card, kind of like a bill. Um, and it's a really easy thing to do, even a small amount to really, you know, have your dollar being spent you know, in longevity and have your um, support be enduring and long lasting and all that stuff that is necessary to um, to affirm the rights of indigenous people in Canada. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going camping tomorrow. So I thought it would be exciting to do like a full camping vlog. You guys have been asking for one of those. So I'm going to end this one here and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.